outside. You might actually have to, yeah, wear maybe one more layer this mm -hmm. afternoon, or at least, yeah, you won't be as hot as you felt in recent days. Nicole, finally feeling like fall today with those cooler winds blowing on in. Highs just in the 50s and 60s. Couple of frosty mornings that we're looking at here. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week is probably when potential's highest. And then we're going to shift the pattern back around. Later this week, we're going to warm up. We might even get a little bit of rainfall, maybe, as we head towards the upcoming weekend. Now, back here in this current weekend, nearest rainfalls way up into parts of Wisconsin, not close to us. We've got a boundary crossing Iowa right now, but that's sort of just uh, increasing our winds as we go through the morning and into later today. That's going to be the no most noticeable part of your Sunday ahead. Watch these gusts. They're not that strong right now, but as we head towards as soon as mid morning, some 30 mile per hour wind gusts. I think the highest will probably be 35 to maybe 40 miles per hour later this afternoon in parts of northern Iowa. But other than that, our skies are going to stay pretty quiet and just not as warm. Temperatures topping out just in the 50s across northern parts of the state, 60s for the rest of us, which is not too unusual. That's pretty close to actually average this time of the year. Now later tonight, high pressure will work in from the west, and so that's where temperatures will drop off the most and have the highest potential for frost into tomorrow morning, where you see those lighter blue colors temps down towards the middle 30s. Purple would be freezing conditions, so that's why the frost advisory is in western parts of the state tonight, and then northern Iowa as we head towards tomorrow night and into Tuesday morning, and then most likely Wednesday morning is going to be the most widespread time frame for uh, frost and freeze as we head towards the middle part of the week. Wednesday morning is probably going to be the coldest just because that's when we'll have a, another push of colder air moving in the day before and our winds will be calm as we head towards Wednesday morning. So the coolest day of the week is going to be Tuesday. Wednesday morning, probably the absolute coldest, and then it's going right back up. By Thursday, winds are back out of the south starting to blow in. That's going to be another higher fire danger day just because it's going to be a warm breeze, more gusts, just like today, just not as cool feeling and then longer range. We're looking at increasing likelihood of at least some moisture somewhere in the nation's midsection because we're going to develop a, a trough of low pressure out here in the western US that brings the storm systems our direction and we'll have at least some moisture to work with too. So late this coming weekend towards early next week, sometime in that time frame, we're leaning slightly wetter than normal, which is wetter. Well, anything is wetter than we have been. It's so dusty and dry across much of the state of Iowa. So basically you got to get ready for some temperature changes this week. Today, cooler, very windy, maybe frosty the next few mornings through about Wednesday. Coolest day of the week is Tuesday, and then we'll warm back up with more winds out of the south Thursday into Friday. And might be a chance of rain as soon as late Friday night, sometime that time frame into Saturday. We'll keep an eye out for at least some potential of some precipitation.